Okay, uh, good afternoon all the students uh, of grade 6 and namaste to you all. Uh, my name is Santosh Basnet and I am a science teacher. Uh, welcome to all of you in this uh, science class organized by Papson. Uh, today uh, our uh, lesson is the measurement lesson. Uh, so here on the uh, whiteboard uh, you can see uh, the different topic that we are learning today. Uh, you can see uh, this is the syllabus, uh, the very first lesson of science measurement. So, we will be uh, dealing about uh, measurement and its importance, okay? uh, physical quantities, uh, their fundamental and derived quantities, standard and local system of measurement. Okay? systems of measurement there are uh, usually uh, these systems of measurements are uh, popular in our uh, country in all the countries mks fps and cgs okay and after that uh, measurement of length mass and time okay and if time supports us we'll be doing some numerical questions and we'll be learning uh, some conversion from uh, one unit to another unit okay so uh, without wasting time uh, I'll start the lesson you all people get ready with your notebook uh, sometime I may give you some work to do uh, sometime I may be telling you some important note so you'll have to note down and you'll have to study them okay okay so uh, here uh, if you observe this chart what you can see here uh, measurement of mass, uh, mass measurement, there are different units and different devices that can measure the mass, okay, I have mentioned here. Some example, see, mass measuring units, you all have seen this uh, around you in a uh, uh, grocer's shop, you have seen, yes or no, 1 kg unit, half kg unit, okay, 200 gram, uh, that way there are different types of uh, mass measuring units available and uh, people are using them uh, commonly okay so next one is uh, beam balance you know beam balance or beam balance is a physical balance it it uh, it is used to measure the mass of a body isn't it how can you measure the mass of a body in one pan or one side you'll keep the standard unit and other pan you will keep the unknown quantity of the matter. In this figure, if you observe, what you can see? Here, there is uh, one standard kilogram is kept, that is already known value. And one uh, side, uh, we have kept some apples, they are unknown, okay? Their amount is unknown. So, this way, the balance shows the equilibrium condition and we can get uh, the amount of apples. Okay, so this is called measurement. I mean to say, what is measurement? Comparison of an unknown quantity with the known standard quantity. Okay, so this is known standard quantity, and apples are unknown standard quantity. Okay, so there are different other uh, balances like pan balance. Okay, kitchen balance. In kitchen also, we'll use uh, mass measuring device like this. Okay. Uh, okay, and do you know uh, how that one kilogram came into existence for the first time? Okay, please listen to me very carefully. Okay, uh, in France, there is an organization called International Bureau of Weights and Measurement. Okay, International Bureau of Weights and Measurement. Uh, there is one museum where uh, they have kept different standard units like 1 kilogram, 1 meter, etc. And all the countries, they made a duplicate of those standard kilogram and meter and they took them to their countries and they produce more and more. Okay? In that organization, uh, look at here, they have kept one uh, cylinder okay, whose diameter is equal to its height and it is made up of platinum iridium 
these are the two elements, very precious elements, okay, and this mass is kept inside the glass, okay, so that no pressure and temperature can affect it. Do you know? Because of temperature and pressure, what happens? The body sometimes expands, and when there is low temperature, the body contracts to prevent from such type of uh, things expansion and contraction. So they have kept the one standard kilogram inside the uh, glass. Okay, at zero degree Celsius, see the temperature is also fixed, zero degree Celsius, and seven hundred sixty mm of Hg that is the pressure standard pressure is 760 mm of Hg okay so uh, what I told about this one standard kilogram it is the uh, standard kilogram okay and all others are the copies of this okay you can say like photocopy or duplicate of this standard kilogram okay this is so uh, universally accepted and no other kilograms can be made different than this kilogram okay you have to understand this okay that is all about the chart i am explaining the measurement of mass okay correct what is a uh, mass then mass represents the amount of matter contained in a body okay i'll come there after some time again and if you see second here uh, measurement of length Okay, and uh, local units of measurement. There are different uh, local units of measurement. Uh, you might have seen some people using the size of their palm, isn't it? Or the size of their stretched finger. Uh, that they are the local uh, units of measurement. And remember, uh, they are not scientific. The local units of measurement are not scientific. Okay measurement of time if you go to measurement of time there are different clocks uh, used you might have one or watch watch in your hand it shows the time okay okay so these things will be learning uh, okay so now i like to again go this was a short description about the uh, chart okay what we are going to learn in this class so now i'm going to start from the beginning so listen to me very carefully measurement what is measurement yes i already told you the comparison of unknown quantity with the known quantity is called measurement the known quantity is also called the standard quantity okay so you will compare unknown quantity with the standard quantity that is called measurement got the definition okay uh, next one is importance why measurement is important do you know i think you all know because measurement is very important in buying and selling of goods okay whenever you go to market or in shop you pay the money and the shopkeeper he takes the measurement of the things and gives you okay so if he uh, measures uh, he can uh, measure the exact quantity of the matter and can give you Okay. Uh, next one is you all know uh, whenever you have to get new clothes, you will sew the clothes in the tailor's house, of course, isn't it? The tailor will uh, take the measurement of the size of the clothes that he has to make. So he takes the measurement, isn't it? You all are experienced with this. That is also the importance of measurement and measurement is also important in our kitchen okay in big restaurants hotels why because they need to measure the amount of spices that they are going to keep to make different types of foods or dishes okay so uh, measurement uh, that way uh, it can uh, help us okay measurement is also important in other fields like in scientific field or in chemistry lab okay measurement of different types of chemicals and to perform different types of experiments okay then uh, did you get why uh, measurement is important of course i think you all got the importance of measurement physical quantities 
this is the next term and that we are going to discuss okay listen to me uh, can you measure all the things around us what is your answer okay so all the things around us cannot be measured okay some of the things can be measured while the others cannot be measured tick examples if you take example uh, what is the temperature today you can measure the temperature today of course you will use thermometer to measure the temperature but if i say today uh, i am unhappy okay what is the level of unhappiness can you measure what is the level of unhappiness or what is the level of happiness or what is the level of love affection okay there is no any device to measure such abstract things okay they are not the physical quantities only those quantities which can be measured are called physical quantities okay which can be measured the size of the book the length of the book the height of the room okay the length of the carpet they can be measured but uh, i already told you anger unhappiness happiness love affection cannot be measured please note down that okay so physical quantities can be divided into two groups fundamental quantities and derived quantities uh, what are fundamental quantities the fundamental quantities they are basic quantities okay they are made for the first time they do not depend upon any other quantities okay till now there are seven fundamental quantities like length mass time temperature amount of substance luminous intensity okay got it seven happen okay these seven fundamental quantities uh, <coughs> they are also called basic quantities <coughs> sorry they have their own units okay okay so here uh, what are the seven fundamental quantities i am going to mention with their units okay uh, look at here uh, sorry listen measurement so i was talking about the fundamental quantities there are seven fundamental quantities okay so i'll note down here length mass time temperature luminous intensity amount of substance and what is the last remaining is electric current okay these are the seven fundamental quantities uh, oh, sorry and all others are the derived quantities the seven fundamental quantity length its si unit is meter mass kilogram time second temperature kelvin luminous intensity mole eh, sorry sorry luminous intensity candela okay amount of substance mole and electric current is measured in ampere okay so these are the seven fundamental quantities and all other are the derived quantities made by multiplying and dividing this fundamental quantities okay so uh, after this uh, let's go to the next topic systems of measurement mks fps c 
CGS. Okay, here in grade six, you'll have to deal about the three system of measurement: MKS, FPS, and CGS system. Okay, MKS system, which is also called French system. Sorry, sorry, which is also called metric system. Okay, let me write here. Uh, this is called metric system. FPS is called a uh, British system. And this is called French system. Okay, the next name for this three system. In MKS system, the length is measured in meter okay mass is measured in kilogram and time is measured in second you got that don't forget that in fps system the length uh, is measured in foot okay uh, mass in pound and time in second in cgs system the length is measured in centimeter uh, mass in gram and time in second okay these three systems of measurements are uh, commonly uh, avail uh, i mean to say people are using these three systems of measurement do not forget this okay okay then come to the next topic uh, measurement of length what is measure uh, length the length is the distance between any two points okay so look at here uh, this is a scale if i take this point and this point so this distance this distance is called length what is the length of this scale length represent the distance between any two points its si unit is meter okay so next uh, you have to understand is multiples and sub multiples okay multiples represents bigger units and sub multiples represent smaller unit less than meter is sub multiple and more than meter is multiple okay so do you know uh, in one mile how many kilometers are there of course 1.609 kilometer see these miles and kilometers are multiples of meter okay in one kilometer how many meters are there can you say thousand meter good Thousand meter and in one meter, how many centimeter are there? Of course, hundred centimeter, and in one centimeter, how many millimeter are there? Ten millimeter are there. Okay, so these are the basic relationship between mile, kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. Okay, remember that. Don't forget this. Note down this. Should be known to everyone. Okay, so measurement of measurement of mass so I already told you mass is the amount of matter contained in a body okay its SI unit is kilogram uh, okay uh, you all know in one metric ton you might have got this metric ton there are 1000 kilogram okay and have you heard about quintal in one quintal there are 100 kilogram okay in one kilogram how many grams are there 1000 grams and in one gram there are thousand milligram 
these things are needed while converting from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. Okay? So, metric ton, quintal, they are the multiples and kilogram, grams and milligrams are the sub multiples of kilogram. Note down that, okay? do not forget this. Measurement of time. Measurement of time, you know the time is the interval between two events, okay? interval between two events. Time as a unit is second. There are different devices which are used to measure the time like quartz clock, pendulum clock. Okay, out of this, you know the quartz cl clock is, it shows less error, but pendulum clock shows more error. You might have seen like this clock around you, it is uh, like it is usually used for decorative purpose, decoration as well. It shows time also and it, it can be decorated as well. Okay? But during summer time, this pendulum okay, it expands and in winters, winter time it contracts because of which the time is not accurate. Okay? In pendulum clock, the time is not accurate. In quartz clock that we usually use in our hands, in our wrist, that is quartz clock. And there are other form of clock as well, like atomic clock, the most scientific clock. Okay? Atomic clock is there, electronic clock are there, there are different types of clocks. Uh, okay, then you all know, talking about the time, okay, uh, one year, how many days are there? 365 days. In one day, 24 hours. Uh, in one hour, 60 minutes. In one minute, 60 seconds. You all know that. Yes, you have been learning this from junior classes. Okay. So, finally, basic conversion. Basic conversion rule. If you are converting from bigger unit to a smaller unit, you have to multiply. And if you are converting from a smaller to bigger unit, you have to divide. Let us take one example. Convert one day into second. This is from bigger unit to smaller unit. So, we know one day is equals to 24 hours, one hour is equals to 60 minute, one minute is equals to 60 second. So, bigger to smaller, what we do? We always multiply because day is big and second is smaller. So, you need to multiply by all these numbers 24 into 60 into 60. Okay? If you do this, if you multiply it, you will get 86400. That means, uh, 86400 second. So, see in one day there are uh, how many second? 86000 400 seconds. See, I multiplied because bigger unit, this is smaller unit. Okay? Good. This way, you can convert from one unit to another. Okay? Before going, uh, before going out, I will show you some devices. See, this is called uh, measuring tape. You can measure the length Okay, you can measure the length with the help of this. You all know how to use this, yes? Okay. Then second, see this is a spring a spring balance. It measures the weight of a body. Okay, weight means the force at uh, given by the earth to everyone. Uh, and this one is you know conical flax. It is used in the uh, science lab. Okay, uh, to measure uh, to measure the volume. Okay. Now, uh, I think you all enjoyed the class, uh, you all were much attentive. Uh, okay. uh, this is for today uh, in this uh, class, next class again will be uh, learning next chapter. So, until that, bye bye everyone and uh, have a good time.